So, in significant part, Tikkun was born to try to capture the experience that we had already had and help it into public space as a way of thinking, a way of talking, so that we could name things that have become a central focus of Tikkun over these 25 years. For example, that social reality today is heavily shaped by the fear of the other that we are entrapped in artificial and distancing roles that separate us from one another unnecessarily, that keep us hidden within and in a kind of spiritual prison that we need to find a way to lift ourselves out of, that that's what just happened in Tunisia and Egypt and last week in Wisconsin, on Saturday in Wisconsin. Tikkun's here to write about it and talk about the phenomenon of these uprisings as outbursts of human connection and of, of mutual recognition and love, really. Love in seeing one another's humanity. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not getting on. Just waiting for it to close. So we're now we're enclosed, but together in the space. So pathological nationalism. We write about this in Tikkun, how people develop imaginary identities that they're addicted to because of their feeling of disconnection from others, and how this leads to the development of, of uh, ch the channeling of rage against demonized others that comes out of this social alienation and lack of living in a world of human recognition where people can have the, the experience of seeing the other as a thou, to use Martin Buber's words, and of uh, the authentic suppleness and heartfelt gentleness of love and uh, feeling embraced. So that's the connection between the spiritual and the political in Tikkun from my point of view. The other aspect of, the other key aspect of Tikkun is, has been to try to develop a new politics that actually goes from this way of thinking and says, okay, how are we going to change the world? If this is what the world is longing for, how can we contribute to, to creating it? And for that reason, you know, uh, at the time that, that Michael and Nan uh, stepped forward to start Tikkun magazine, Ronald Reagan, not only was Ronald Reagan president, but in one of the most difficult moments of our adult lifetimes, he had just been elected for the second time, and people were, the liberatory impulse was running for the hills in society in 1984, after that election. A lot of people did temporarily give up, or at least temporarily lose faith. And so we had to understand how was the right and conservatives, how were they capturing in their vision of the family? Remember Morning in America? Uh, the Reagan ads of that period, in their appeals to God and country, in what way were they speaking to the longing for connection, community, and love in a way that we on the left were manifesting primarily understandable anger and rage and conflict? How could we generate a politics that would create our own, what I'm fond of calling a parallel universe, create our own political it connected environment, a politics that manifested love and that helped to move, to draw people to us by our, our very, um, by the very joy and hopefulness that we transmit in our own, in our own way of making social change. All that, that's in Tikkun also. We write about, so this is it. So we write these, this way of thinking that links the spiritual interconnection and the political social change dimension. We also try and develop a new approach to politics in Tikkun that, that uh, would show how this could be manifested in action. And it's been 25 years, but in a way we've just started, right? We haven't yet tra transformed the world. So we'll have to be here for our our 50th birthday as well, to see how we're doing. Um, okay, so, so that is, that's to me, it come, me, I'm, I'm a, a spiritual person now, but I had never been in a synagogue when I met Michael in 1975, even though I'm Jewish. I was brought up as a secular Jew in New York City. And through, it was politics that brought me to spirituality. It was the experience I've just described that made me 
a spiritual person, and then through that I learned what it was to be a Jewish person. I learned the wisdom of uh, bringing people together where love is the openly admitted reason we're getting together, and participating in song and ritual that helps to strengthen and cement that, and prayer, and appreciation of the moon and the stars, and that kind of open-heartedness and social gatherings that, that emphasize that and that are about that, that came, that part of connection to Judaism and religion and that aspect of tikkun to me all came through my comradeship with Michael. So that's my story, that's the meaning of the historical experience in a nutshell for me. Uh, if I had to put it in a song, I'm not gonna sing this, I should, but uh, uh, Van Morrison has a, a, a line in, in Poetics, poetic champions composed that I'm deeply fond of, which is, uh, to me, a good anthem for Tikkun. If my heart could do my thinking and my head begin to feel, I could look upon the world anew and know what's really real. <laughs>